nice wash shop. This is place the movie fan. And originally this was gonna be a review of the new Mulan movie. But unfortunately, because of the fucking coronavirus, it was delayed. Speaking of the coronavirus, if you want to see a good video talking about the coronavirus, I highly recommend a video made by Computing Forever. A link to it is in the video description below. He's a very smart guy that knows what the hell he's talking about. You should take what he says into consideration. For sure. As for me, I don't plan on making a full video talking about the coronavirus. I like to stay away as far as possible from making videos on serious subjects unless it's something I'm passionate about. After all, most of my videos are discussing entertainment, which is something that's fun. Now at first, Muran was the only who was being postponed which I actually cared about. So I didn't really bat an eye for the most part. But there were more movies that got delayed as well. Such as the new Ghostbusters movie. Come on, I was so excited to see the movie. I even had skates planned and everything. And I was also looking forward to Minions 2, The Rise of Gru. Now I hate the first Minions movie. But to be fair, the reason I was looking forward to this one is because I fucking love Despicable Me 2 and Despicable Me 3. And because of the fucking title, I assume the minions won't be the main characters, but instead Gru. And I was really looking forward to seeing how Gru first met the minions. Hell, even a new Spongebob movie was supposed to come out. It doesn't bother me that much that the movie was delayed, since two Spongebob movies already are enough. And the animation style does make me wanna puke, the new Spongebob movie I mean. But it was still interesting seeing how the movie would turn out. And even though I wasn't excited about Black Widow, the reason being she is the least interesting character out of the Avengers, I still thought it would be interesting to see her backstory. So yeah, it sucks that movie got delayed as well. The new Fast and Furious movie was delayed as well. When I first heard about it, I didn't care about it back then. And honestly, I still don't fucking care. There are already are enough Fast and Furious movies as there is. We don't need another one. So yeah, a shit ton of movies got delayed because of the coronavirus. And Bulan Bank delayed is still the one that disappoints me the most. Since I was so fucking excited for it, and I still am. Hopefully, it will be out before the year ends. There is a little chance it won't though. Anyway, I was looking forward to this movie for one major reason. An narrated movie with Vin Diesel sounds fucking awesome. Or at least I thought it was a narrated movie, but apparently I was wrong. Which to be fair, is fine. You can put a lot of blood in PG-13 movies nowadays. Anyway, this movie is basically about someone who dies, but is reborn and made invincible. First I'm gonna talk about the character Ray Garrison, played by Vin Diesel. He was a great fucking soldier that you don't wanna fucking mess with. Because if you mess with him, he will kill you. You know, Ben Diesel is a great actor overall. I used to think that Ben Johnson is the new Ronald Schwarzenegger, and in a way he kinda is. But I would say that Ben Diesel is that too. He's a fucking brilliant action star, which he proves in this movie. And aside from kicking a lot of ass, he also cares a lot about his wife, which is understandable. He's overall a great guy. Which is not so surprising as I'm expecting quality acting from Vin Diesel, which he gives. Now I'm going to talk about his wife, Gina Garrison, played by Halala Riley. Now she's a wonderful, beautiful woman, but we barely get to know much about her, which to be fair is fine. All we know is that she is someone that the protagonist cares about a lot. That's all we need to know, really. The third and final character that I want to talk about is Emil Harting, played by Kai Pierce. Now he is the one who brought Ray Garrison back to life, but he wants to control him. He wants to control his mind and his actions, which, to be honest, is very fucking messed up. Now then, this is a stupid action movie. It's to be fair, I like. I love mindless action movies, but they're hell of a lot of fun to watch. And this one is very dumb, for sure. And that's exactly what makes it so fucking awesome. It's full of ridiculous moments, which to be fair, I think are intentional. And I loved every fucking second of the movie. Oh, and I also like the concept. By the beginning of the movie, I thought this movie was an original, but it blew me the fuck away by proving me wrong and doing something new. And the visuals are of course fucking great. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. Wow, I didn't think I would love this movie as much as I do, but I do. It's fucking awesome. It's a dumb, mindless action movie, which is the kind of a movie that I really enjoy. And over that, I'm of course gonna give it two thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching, and you all have a fantastic day.